so that is the whole morning routine. I feel like it sets me up for the best opportunity to have a balanced and grounded day. Like it gives space for my grief, but it also allows me to move through it and have a good chance to have a good day. So I'm really grateful for that. But I also wanted to share, I used to be really hard on myself and I continue to work on not being so hard on myself if I don't get to all of the morning routine or if any part of it is different or, you know, if something goes awry or I don't have enough time, like I'm trying to not be so hard on myself about that and give myself grace to just do the best I can for myself each day. Because I think when I used to define a routine and then I didn't do it, I would be disappointed in myself. I would feel like I already failed and I would be mad and it just literally did the opposite of what it's supposed to do. So I really am working on giving myself grace with that and allowing flexibility in it and reminding myself that it's just an effort to give myself the best chance at a good day. You know, not getting to all of it does not mean I'm going to have a bad day, but also doing all of it doesn't necessarily guarantee a good day either. It just gives me the best chance and allows me to like breathe into myself and give myself a good mindset for the day. So that's what I'm focusing on. I do notice a difference when I'm able to focus on myself for the first few hours of the day and just do the things that feel good to my soul and give space to my grief. I've noticed that it's really important to me to do that first thing. So anyways, that's all. Um, I hope that this was helpful to you if that's why you were watching this or maybe it was inspirational in some way for you to define your own routine. Either way, thank you for watching. I'm wishing you a wonderful day and sending you light and love. Till next time.